have time for probably one or two more questions, so we'll try to yeah, quick question. Anyone else first day? Sorry, I'll have yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I just have a real important one that I want to start before this. Is All right. Um, yeah, we'll make sure you're, you're next. Uh, just to follow up on, on some of Anne's concerns about the management and the prospect of debt accumulation, for example, that avoids uh, you know going to the public for levies, but still we be, as I understand it, indirectly responsible for that any development in that line. You said, you used the term that you were going to be as transparent as possible. Um, can you elaborate on that? And does that mean that we will have access on an annual basis, a quarterly basis, on exactly what the numbers are on the financial statements <clears throat> of so, the hospital? Sure, I, I can answer that. Uh, there's a couple things. With a, with a uh, mm -hmm. private not-for-profit, there are still rules governing uh, the disclosure of financials, especially for a hospital in the state of Idaho. One is a report to the community every year, an annual report to the community, in which you have to state your financial position and also the benefits that you've provided to the community. One of the uh, big issues that is really highlighted in the Patient Protection and Accountable Care Act, or as some might call it, Obamacare, or healthcare reform is these requirements to make sure that a not-for-profit is doing what it's supposed to do in order to retain its tax-exempt status. So there are requirements that, that we will be under uh, in order to disclose to the community our financial position. Secondly, uh, the tax returns which the hospital will uh, file uh, it's called a 990. Those are always available online as well when they're filed. So there, there is still that opportunity to see the financial uh, capabilities or the financial position of the hospital, even though it's an, a private not-for-profit. Now, it really is up to the board to decide how much they disclose interim in the meantime, but besides those annual basis. And it's up to us to communicate that message and to share as well. And as I mentioned, it's the desire of the three of us here. This is still a hospital in a community, and it is still a community hospital, even under a 501c3, mm -hmm. that we can provide all the transparent information as, as possible. There are certain things that even me as a controller, as the accountant side of me, that says, whoa, why are we disclosing that kind of information, even as a county? There's some things that I think are proprietary to our, our desire to uh, strategically position the, the, the entity, but as a county entity, you have to disclose that. As a not-for-profit, you are able to hold those a little bit closer to your sleeve in order to protect the proprietary uh, plans that you have to grow and, and increase the business. And elaborating on that, um, um, could you make additional disclosures um, to try and address some of the other you know, the outstanding concerns in this con <coughs> conversion agreement that presumably is still, is still not finalized. There's rules. Well, there's, there's strict rules about how, it, how it's set up, mm -hmm. and, and we really haven't jumped into all of that. Uh, we've sought uh, professional uh, legal counsel from the state, a gentleman who speaks to all the hospitals every year at the IHA convention and we've used that firm before, and we also have local counsel, and uh, we have to follow the rules as they're set up. But I think we'll be, uh, I think everyone will be pleasantly surprised that um, tomorrow will look very similar to what we look like today, and a year from now, same thing. Uh, the difference is just the way that we'll file our reports and uh, organize the, the business. Um, the board that's here today will transfer in, but will uh, have um, the same vetting and appointment process in our own organization to get a good cross-section of the community, and that will give us an opportunity to stay balanced. Um, we're looking forward to having a voting trustee from ALTA, and uh, there's just a lot of things that are going to be even better for us but uh, yet to be determined on all the detail.
Okay. Uh, Tony, you have, you have a question? I would imagine the transparency issue could be one of those items addressed when the metrics are being developed, yep. too. I wrote it down. All right, great. Um, I'm, uh, I'm disappointed nobody from the Board of County Commissioners is here tonight, and I'm especially disappointed that Bob Benedict isn't here. And Bob, I, Bob had a family emergency out east. I understand. Okay, it's understandable. He's in, he's in an airport somewhere between mm -hmm. here and there. Okay. And I imagine the results of this will get back to the Board of County Commissioners. Uh, and, and I understand that this meeting, this forum here, is not about the fire department, uh, but there are some issues that have the community uh, a little bit upset with the fire department, but that's a separate issue. But where there's an impact here with what's going on with the hospital, uh, you're probably aware of the back and forth, and this is probably going to be a hot button issue in the 2012 election for commissioners. Uh, but uh, there's an issue with uh, EMTs and uh, the contract that currently is at the hospital with the EMTs supporting the emergency room, essentially benefiting the hospital. The uh, community, and, I would say. And, and, and the community. Uh, I was about to say that, in that <laughs> they go out, you know, to emergencies, whether it's home, property, car accident, etc. Just about every call. The fire department goes out just about every call, and you've got two entities, in many cases, doing the same thing. And in some cases, one can't do it, and the other can, and the other can, and the other can't kind of deal. But there's duplication of effort, there's duplication of cost, there's a, there's a what, what I would call as a, as a process engineer, you know, a, a, a process headache. Um, and the, the question goes to if and when, you know, Bingham comes in and they take over, is that contract going to be canceled and will the fire department be allowed, because they are now training paramedics, will, they, <laughs> will they be allowed to assume that um, first responder service to cut down on the costs that have traditionally been borne by the community? How about I answer that one? <clears throat> the, the contract is determined by the county commissioners. <clears throat> they are the ones who will make the decision whether to keep the hospital or to go to the fire district or to anyone else who wants to bid on that contract. And to discuss that now is a little bit premature considering that it really is the county's decision and they're not here to answer what they're looking at. We will provide a competitive bid, and the, the uh, fire department will provide a competitive bid, and then it will be determined. Then it will be up to the county commissioners and, the, uh, honestly, the hospital district, or sorry, the uh, the ambulance district commissioners, which in this case are the county commissioners, to determine which seems to be the most cost effective or the best value for the community. I understand that it's somewhat premature, but it's an item for consideration as you move forward. Absolutely. Why even have a contract? Why award a contract? Why not just let the fire department take it on since their EMTs would be paramedics? Because it's still the hot, it's still a separate entity, and they would still have it the contract. It is today. It is today. But I'm and talking it is, about tomorrow. No, no, it is in the future as well because it's a separate district. So that the ambulance district either has to run its own operations, mm -hmm. hire its own individuals, or it has to contract with someone else. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's a, it's a contract discussion. Or well, the model has to change. What, what recommendation will, will you make or will Bingham make with respect to that? We will bid competitively and so will the hospital district or so will the, the fire district. So that's, you do feel there's a need.